Hey ladies and gentlemen, um, today I'm going to uh, tell you about the current project I have for my 1995 Dodge Dakota is I have to get a whole new set of new tires for it. The tires that I have there on the truck now are, the man said they're, I think he called them concaved or something like that, they're, they're wavy. And plus, on the right rear, I've got a busted belt. But that's normal wear and tear. The tires were made back in 2015. It's time to get a new set on there. Um, also, I need to get a set of brakes on the front and back of the truck. Front and rear brakes need to be done. Uh, I know the oil needs to be changed. Right now, I'm having trouble finding the tire size I need. The tire size I need for that truck are P225 70 R15s. I've looked on Facebook, I've looked all through uh, all social media. I cannot find any tires for that truck. Uh, right now, I may just end up going with another rim size. I may jump up to a 16 because they say 15s anymore are so hard to find and use tires. I wish that I could uh, afford a set of new tires, but I can't put in $400 into a set of new tires. Uh, if anybody has a set of good tires and a 15 inch, like I said, P22570 R15, let me know, comment in the comment section that you have some tires. I'll pick them up if they look good. I'll buy them off of you if they look good. Uh, do you know where I can find some that's in that size, P225-7015? I, like I said, I can't afford new tires. I need used tires. I may be able to put in about $50 a tire on each tire if they're used. Uh, but uh, that's my current situation. I have the oil and the filter for the truck. I just haven't had a chance to really do anything because... I've been busy here working around my house and doing odds and ends. What you doing, Simba? Huh? Come on, say something. Want to say something? Hmm. What you doing? Your fur's filthy. You've been playing in the dirt again, haven't you? You got all kinds of pebbles and stuff in your fur. What are you doing, bud? Huh? How you doing? <laughs> That's Simba. He's out enjoying the, uh, I guess you'd say, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, overcast. <laughs> earlier, I guess, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I guess earlier yesterday or the day before, he caught him a field mouse. Didn't you, Simba? He said, I ain't gonna talk to you right now. Little stinker. <sighs> but, uh, like I said, that's my current project I'm working on now. I've got to get a new tire for my mother's van. I've got a rim that uh, we need. This car right here, my mother's car does not have a spare. I bought a rim for this vehicle. And, uh, I need to get a tire for that. That tire size, let's see here, is 215.60 or 17. And I need some tires for that. But, problem is, no green stuff. So, uh, like I said, I think I know what I'm going to do first of the month is I might go and buy a tire a month to get uh, put on my truck, set some money back each month for a new set of tires. Depends on how things go. Right now I've been out of work temporarily for four months because of this COVID-19. And uh, personally, I'll be glad when this crap's over with because I'm getting tired of being stuck in the house. Although, it's been stuck in the house as far as safety and social distancing is a whole lot better than being out close together and spreading that crap around. 
but we just got to have patience and not give up faith. Have faith in the good Lord that he'll get us through it, and he will. What you doing, Simba? I'm about to get a brush and brush you off. Get all this junk out of your fur. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna play, don't you? Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Wanna play with Twig? <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Yeah, my uh neighbors they moved to a I think they moved out in the country. And they uh, asked me if I'd want to adopt him. I was like, yeah. He spends a lot of time. He'd run back and forth when they were still in town. He'd spend time over at their house and he'd come over here. And <laughs> he was a, you're a character, aren't you, Simba? Oh, look at you shedding. I am about to brush you off. You shouldn't like a, a crazy. Oops, so one play, aren't you? <laughs> What'd you do, you field mouse? Did you eat him? Yeah, he called him a field mouse. Say about that long, old black field mouse probably come out of Newton's Field back here, and they, I think they're starting to grow corn. And oh goodness gracious! <clears throat> Some of you got all kinds of stuff in your fur, little stinker. What you got in your fur, huh? Still want to play, aren't you? Look at that fur. Look at that fur. We're going. Play. Another thing is I want to address, and I've seen it on Facebook, is where people are abusing animals. And you shouldn't do that. that at least your animals should not be abused. They're too loving to be put through that kind of treatment. All they want is your love and companionship. I saw a lady on Facebook, I think it's somewhere in the Philippines or Asia somewhere, was stepping on a kitten and breaking the kitten's legs and that uh -uh, that 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 just sets me on fire. You mistreat animals and you should be treated the same way. If you break their legs the animal's legs, you need your legs broken. If you uh, hurt them in any way, you need that done to you. Boy, so I want to take a brush and get this uh, fur off you. Boy, you're shitting bad. Yeah, you usually lose your winter coat during the summertime.
But anyway, guys, I need to get off here and upload this video to YouTube. And I'll probably end up brushing him off because he's shitting bad today. Aren't you? You shitting bad today, aren't you? But when I get the um, brakes for the truck, I'll end up uh, probably doing a video about me uh, replacing the brakes on the truck. Another thing is, I want to start seeing uh, the younger generation getting back into cars. Anymore, the younger generation is uh, these kids now these days are getting the newest iPhones and all this and all that I'm getting um, Xbox Ones and PlayStation 5's not that they don't deserve it now but I believe that they should be rewarded that instead of just automatically giving to it giving it to them because uh, I've, all through my life my mother's told me if you want something that you really want, you have to get out there and earn it. You have to work for it. And I'm seeing five and six year old kids with the newest iPhones. A $1,500 to $2,000 iPhone. <laughs> I ain't get that kind of money. The most expensive phone I got right now is, I think it was $375. And my mother killed me when I bought it. <laughs> But I earned, I worked for that iPhone, uh, that phone, it, it was, um, that phone is an LG Stylo 4, and I need to get a new phone anyway, because it's old. Boy, Sammy, you got, you're shitting like a sieve. But anyway, guys. I'll see you on the next one. If you can, please like, share, and subscribe on my videos. It really helps. Just one share it really helps me out. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Boy, somebody need to brush you off. You're shitting like crazy.